Hello and welcome to the technical specification video for the Supplier Invoice Upload for Intelligent Invoice Scanning Bot. The Supplier Invoice is a common document received by companies. The purpose of the Supplier Invoice Upload for Intelligent Invoice Scanning Bot is to simplify the entry of supplier invoices into SAP Business One. In the complete end-to-end -end scenario, this bot follows a successful run of the automated business document extraction from emails bot, which extracts purchase invoices from emails and places them in a specific folder. The supplier invoice upload for intelligent invoice scanning bot sends the invoice to the SAP AI Business Services Document Information Extraction Service. The extracted results are then passed by the bot to the SAP Business One database using the Open Data Protocol. From this point on, you can use the standard electronic document import wizard in SAP Business One to continue processing the document. As a result of this process, a supplier invoice draft is created in SAP Business One. This bot helps reduce user effort by automating repetitive tasks and improves work efficiency and business flexibility. Further, the bot provides you with access to the standard SAP Business One integration with the Document Information Extraction Service, which would otherwise require a separate license. The Document Information Extraction Service license is included directly in the SAP Process Automation license. Let's see what the scenario looks like in the system. As a prerequisite for running this bot, in the Administration module, go to Document Settings and on the Electronic Documents tab, activate the Document Information Extraction protocol. It is not necessary to specify any credentials. As mentioned earlier, the Document Information Extraction license is included in the SAP Process Automation license. Let's check the relevant folders. You need to have a proper folder structure and the To Be Process folder needs to contain the documents that we want to process. First, go to the Application Development for SAP Process Automation. On the Monitor tab, under Manage, click the Automations tile. Here, you can configure the trigger for the bot. In the list of deployed automations, you can see the invoice trigger for the automation. If you want to change the configuration, go over to Actions and click Edit. In the Edit Scheduled Trigger pop-up window, you can schedule the time when the bot is to run and how often the job will reoccur. In this example, the bot will run from Monday to Friday at 11.30 a.m. On the Input Parameters tab, you need to define the SAP Business One database name, the root folder path used to store the files for the bot, the configuration file name, the Windows credentials, and the SAP Business One Service Layer Tenant URL. Next, on the Distribution tab, you need to match your trigger to your agent. In this case, you defined the agent attributes earlier while adding the agent. For more information about this step, please refer to the Desktop Agent Setup video. Here, you can see that the value My Machine 1 is automatically displayed. Choose Update. To execute the automation right away, move to the actions of the invoice trigger and click the Run Now option. You can see that the execution of the automation was successfully requested. In Monitor Automation Jobs, you can monitor the progress of the bot. On the top row, you can see that the automation status is running. After refreshing the page, you can see that the automation job was successful. And if you go to the To Be Processed folder, you can see that it is empty as the file was moved to the Processed folder. So now let's go to SAP Business One to complete the process. In the Purchasing module, go to Electronic Documents Import Wizard. You can see under the Document Information Extraction protocol that the files are ready for processing. So let's check the results. You can see that the import file was successfully determined and the business partner and file were correctly identified. Now you can proceed to the next step. 
Here you can see the details, including the file which was processed. If we open the file to take a look, you can see the details of the invoice. Now drill down to see the details for the items. It seems that the items have been properly identified, so you can now proceed and generate the document draft. The draft has now been generated. Let's check the details again. You can see the list of items and that the document is attached to the attachment folder for a specific document. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.